Right, I've got something a bit different to show you today. I've got this DC to AC power inverter, which I'm going to be using connected to a 12 volt car battery. And the car battery is going to be connected to a solar panel, a fold out solar panel, so that I can use this whole unit for backup during power cuts. So I already have mains gas plumbed into the home, so in the event of a um, power failure I'd have gas for cooking and I thought it'd be great to have a small unit like this for um, backup, just for lighting or maybe running a computer. This one's excellent for that. It comes in this box here, a nice strong cardboard box and the unit was completely surrounded by this um, dense foam. And I was very impressed with the uh, packaging, so um, it can't get damaged in the post really in that. It comes with the two battery um, cables, the um, battery connectors, and this is the large battery connectors. It's not the um, small Japanese style round ones. I've got this battery here with these. Um, adapters on. I don't know whether all the batteries do these um, adapters but leave those on for these um, connectors. And it comes with a couple of spare fuses. Um, these um, nuts that go on the back to connect the cables to the back of the inverter and the user's manual. So the inverter is in this make here and it's the CJ 3000Q. It's 12 volt DC to 220 volt AC power inverter with 3000 watts and the output is pure sine waveform. So it's excellent for computers and other sensitive electrical equipment. So the unit is made of tough aluminium. It's a nice weighty unit. On the back there you can see two fans which obviously come on if the unit's getting too hot. The two threaded connectors for the battery leads. And on the front here you have the AC uh, 220 volt output which can take various different plugs. Then you have the multifunctional display. It's an excellent display and I'll show that in a moment. And the whole unit does actually feel really good quality. And to run this unit I bought a new car battery. I bought exactly the same one that goes in my car so that um, in the event of a failure on the one in the car I can actually um, use this one. And being nice and new this one's nice and clean to use indoors. And then to charge the battery I bought this excellent fold out solar panel unit. It's made of nice tough um, canvas. Unfold it. And it has those mono crystalline solar panels, the very thin ones. Eight of them. And it's 12 volts and 50 watts. The monocrystalline silicon solar panels are permanently uh, fixed to the canvas. They're nicely sewn in and it's waterproof to IP65. On this end here it has a unit here with two USB port sockets. A green light that comes on when um, the solar panels are receiving UV light and a DC um, power plug socket. And the solar panel comes complete with the um, battery charging cable there with the clips on the end. This one plugs directly into that unit and there's a nice long lead on that one. Then it has one of these um, plug sockets to actually uh, plug into that unit as well with a fused end there to run um, various different things. 
it comes with a couple of these small clips here they're not very um, good these ones but all round the um, solar panel um, nicely sewn into the um, ends or the sides here as well is that like um, tough paracord so you can actually use those clips to hang um, this solar panel on a wall or whatever I've seen a lot of people they use these and drape them over a tent or over a, um, the top of a roof of a building or whatever or you can just lay them flat somewhere the solar panel also has a pocket near the plug unit there for putting the um, spare plugs in and you can see there that the um, power light is coming on because the solar panels are picking up from the um, lighting so I'll just show you those loops. It's a bit hard to manoeuvre it in here, um, being so large a solar panel. But it has two loops, um, one top and bottom on each side. And like I said, it's a tough type um, paracord loop. So that's the solar panel and like I said it's really excellent quality and it's great that it folds up like this because you can take it anywhere in the car you could also just use these on their own um, when you're camping to charge phones or use them with um, laptops or whatever so it's an excellent piece of kit so now I've put the cables on the back and these are nice size locking nuts so you can do them up nice and tight then pull the um, cover down over the terminal there. These are a little bit loose so um, you might want to put a bit of tape around those just to hold them in place. The um, battery terminal goes on. You have to take out one bolt and swivel the plate round and put the um, terminal in under there and it sits in place nicely there's a cutout for it put the nut back in and do that one up nice and tight and it's worth putting the um, terminals on the back here first because those terminals are very close together and then connecting up the battery afterwards so that goes on the battery terminal and it's a 13 millimeter spanner i've got an adjustable one here to lock that on the terminal. So for an example I'll plug my um, fan into the AC output socket and then switch on. And you can see the colour display there, it's flickering on the camera but it's not flickering um, in use. I'll just put the solar panel under there to lift it up a bit and now I'll switch the fan on. So you have a nice colour display and it's not flickering now that I've zoomed in on it. The colours are much richer on the unit than it's showing on the camera. It's a much darker blue and richer colours on the um, battery display there. So that's the battery dis display obviously. It's showing 223.1 volts, um, moving about a little bit. And in display one, you can um, keep pressing this button here to go through the various different um, electrical units there. And that's AC watts, 23 AC watts. DC voltage is 12.6 there. And then back to the AC voltage, which is 223.6 there showing. And then if you go into mode 2, you can see that's mode 1, I can go over into mode 2 by pressing this one here for a few seconds. And then it will automatically scan through those displays. And it will just keep um, scanning, loop scanning through those displays like that.
And in the instruction manual, it has various different alarms. So if I press the um, on switch here, now it should beep one um, to show normal startup. The green LED is on and shows the inverter is normal. And then it has various other alarms. If it beeps twice, it's under voltage warning. Uh, the storage battery voltage is running out. If there's three beeps, it's under voltage protection. Four beeps is over voltage protection. And five beeps is overheat protection. And then if there's a continuous beep, it's over load protection and the inverter would power off in 10 seconds and wait for 10 seconds to start up automatically um, continuous recycling so I think it's excellent equipment to have really good quality and something that will be very useful in power cuts